The reason I bring this up is that the president of NBC was Jack Thayer at that mm -hmm. time. Bert had done a favor for him many years ago because Jack was out of work. Jack Thayer was, was out of work. He hired Don Imus in Sacramento originally. He was up for a job with Nationwide, the presidency of Nationwide Broadcasting, and so was Bert. So he's driving from Sacramento to the meeting in Cleveland, and he stops at a payphone and he calls Bert, who was working in Fort Wayne as a general manager. I was consulting for him there, too. Jack calls and he says, I've been out of work for eight months. He says, I can't feed my family. I need this job, Bert. I'm asking you as a personal favor to withdraw your name for the presidency of the job so I can get it. Of Nationwide. Nationwide which was a huge no, company. That was a big thing, yeah. Things. It was nationwide owned by Nationwide Insurance. Like lots of lots yeah, of money. Absolutely. You know, great stations in Cleveland. Yeah. Yeah. So Bert agrees. Jack goes in and gets the job. He said, and he told Bert, I'll make it up to you. Now we segue yeah. forward to WIBG, where we're there, and Jack is now president of NBC. And he and calls That's how Bert, you go to Chicago. That's how you go to that's Chicago? It. That's it, baby. <laughs> it's all relationships, man. Wow. Well, he, wow. he and Bert, we've been doing work with Jack, with, with WMAQ, since 1975. He had heard a station that I did in Grand Rapids called WCUZ, and he loved the rotations and the music and the format and everything, and he wanted that format, and he wanted Bert and I to go, but we had other contractual things that wouldn't allow us to go to Chicago. So Jack had asked, this is prior to the IBG thing, Jack had asked us in 75, since Lee Sherwood is actually the PD at WMAQ, not, yeah. not Bobby. He said, would, would Bill work with Lee Sherwood and get him the formats and all of that stuff and give him the rotations and tell him what to do and, and that, and we'll pay him as on a consulting thing. He said, yeah, so we did. A year and a half later, he sends the limo for us in, in Philly. We go up to New York, 30 Rock. We have about it. Now, bear in mind, I've never met Jack in person, only on the phone. Bert knows him real well. Jack's getting his hair cut and his shoes shine while we're in this meeting at 30 Rock. <laughs> I thought we were going there to go to WNBC is what I thought. Hmm. So Jack comes back from the bathroom around noon, slams the door. Meanwhile, Bert says to me, I don't think we have it, anything. I said, why? Bert says, well, Jack hasn't mentioned a word about it. So Jack, meanwhile, goes to the restroom, comes back. He slams the door. He goes, he goes I've got it. The team concept. Bert says, what do you mean? He says, Pittman and Warner to New York, Hennis and Sherwood to Chicago. KMAQ, right. KMAQ. Yeah. So then we transitioned to MAQ and KQX until they right. split off the you know KQX and MAQ. Let me ask you some questions there. Let me ask you some programming questions because I, I was really curious. I'm sure everybody watching right now, if you, you're a PD, and that's basically who watches this channel, PDs. So you kept saying Bobby, and for people who don't know, that would be Bob Pittman. Bob Pittman was the PD at, at uh, WMAQ. At um, WKQX, right? Yeah, and, and KQX uh, in Chicago before he goes to NBC, you know, they WNBC in, you know, in, uh, in New York City. Uh, you know, and one of the questions I was going to ask is, so you, you go in and Pittman has set it up and, you know, I was going to ask you, did you change, you know, very much of what he had there? Uh, or was it just like the typical slow thing? Or was he doing what you had already set up with Sherwood? Because, you know, I didn't realize that you had done that ahead of time. So was he already doing what your stuff? He was doing some of it. Uh, they were, they, Sherwood was doing some of it. I mean, it was being done that way. But the music system was, was pretty good in a lot of respects. But I, I felt that we needed a lot more detail in it, in the rotations mm -hmm. of the music. So this was before computers. Yeah. So, so I when set you say, up. When you say detail, if you could go into a little bit more detail about the detail for people, people particularly going, people young who are watching. Yeah. What do you mean by detail? Well, where I, I built a system of music rotations that was like a computer. Chicago mm -hmm. was a mainstream country song, a town. 
So I built a system that had what called A's and B's. The A's were pop country, like Kenny Rogers, right? Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. And then we yes, had Paul Haggard and, you know, uh, uh, Don George Williams. Jones. Yeah. 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 And I played the Rolling Stones there as an oldie. They had a, an acoustic version of Honky Tonk Woman. Oh, wow. Which, I never heard that. Which was absolutely great. So I put that in rotate, but but that's that's neither here nor there. I mean that's just. But what I did is I separated every category into two. So we had power gold A's, power gold B's, A's, B's, and C's. And the rule was basically that you could always play two A's back to back, but never two B's. And the the perfect thing would be A B A B A B. Right, and that didn't exist when you got there. No. Okay. No, Interesting. Not at all. Yeah. We had what was called producers, but they really weren't producing anything. I turned one guy into the music scheduler. Hmm. And I took each category and we went through the songs that were in there. We found out how many were up tempo, how many were down tempo. And that's how we built the format for that category. That you had to, in other words, Let's say 70, 60% of the category was down tempo, 40% mm-hmm. was up tempo. Well, that's how you had to play that category, hand scheduled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And elaborate on that when you say uh, that's how you would program it. If it's if 50 of the 100 were up tempo and 50 were down tempo, then every every other one would be up, down, up, down. It, uh, that, that was called for. for right, that right. Category. Oh, so you're making the guy choose up, next one down, up, right. next one down. And he has a card it. file in each of those to to uh, to to go through right so, okay so, so all the music that we that we felt was playable and should be played mm-hmm. whether it was a whether it was a power oldie or just an oldie or an older oldie they all had these categories <clears throat> individual categories based on tempo got it to carry yeah. out the rotation particularly in country you find out that there's a little more that your up tempo most of the time is not really up Right. It's kind of like medium, you know, yeah. It's kind of medium up, okay? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you have medium down. So, <clears throat> but you put them in categories, and then he would write it out. He'd program each hour by hand, and uh, uh, the jocks didn't have anything to do with the programming. I mean, the scheduling of the music. It was all programmed by the producer, and he did an excellent job. We, we built our own computer, so to speak, only it was a human computer program. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I was asking you those questions, because, uh, you know, a lot of the, the programming part of this channel is to try to uh, try to describe what you would now would have to deal with with a computer, but put it into the analog terms of of the past so you can understand why you're trying to do what you're doing. And, you know, exactly. you know what the output, you know, you're trying to get a machine to do an outcome to think for itself, but you have to plant how you want it to think.